Previously on Terror Time. You think that was a werewolf? I do. Where is it? It just backed up over there, and I point again. It has disappeared from everyone's view. Jed hears that it's gone. He snaps his fingers and looks disappointed. And I would like everyone to go ahead and roll initiative for me. <laughs> <laughs> initiative! As you see two other wolves that had been flanking, the one that you guys were looking at and the one on the opposite side all come into view. All right, great. I'm just making sure I had the DC correct. Not good. So the one with the red dot is the one that just started initiative next to Kadril and Saren. The two that were flanking you look like normal wolves. And then we have oh, Amalkia, Zuri, and Arendelle by the fire, where you guys were talking and looking at that other one. And then after the, oh no, the it's gone. Jed, you went back over to where Bo was. And first off, Zuri, you are our top of the round for initiative. What would you like to do? Uh, <laughs> no pressure. Okay, so the dire wolf. Can I go over there? Will I have enough walking? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, I'm going to go over there and use mm-hmm. a rapier. Um, Roll to attack. Okay. You got a nat 20? Got a nat okay, 20. so that is also double. Olivia, stop <laughs> like, <laughs> flexing, okay? Sorry. You know you're good at D&D. That definitely hits. Uh, go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> please work. Okay, so, math, please. 17. Beautiful. I was also like, oh, I hope someone's doing that math, because <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> As Kadril and Saren are scooting themselves back, trying to react to this giant wolf, um, Zuri, you run forward, you pull your rapier out, and it is probably very cute and very awe-inspiring yeah. just to see this cute little pink kobold come out, whip a sword out, swing back, and you just slash the dire wolf right across the face. You can see it start bleeding as you cut through, and it snarls and shakes its face a little bit. You can see some blood kind of go flying off of it. That was a great hit. Yay! Yes. Thanks. We're all just like, ooh! I know. She's been so quiet and squeaky this whole time, but when the going got tough. Uh, all right, is that your turn, Zuri? Do you want to do anything else? I'll just chill. Yeah, I don't want to attack me. Uh, Yeah, that would not be great. Yeah. All right, Arendelle, it is your turn now. What would you like to do? So as uh, Zuri goes to attack the one by Kadro, I approach the one to my right. Okay. And I have a spell called Ice Knife. I would like to use it. Perfect. Um, Go ahead and roll me an attack. 17. Nice. Beautiful. That definitely hits. So you approach this other wolf that is the one that you guys saw kind of stalking around you. It is in this ready stance. It is snarling at you. It's very angry. And you bring your hand back and ice seems to be pulled almost from the atmosphere around you and forms into this beautiful knife shape. And you bring it up and just get a really good stab right into the side of this wolf and deal seven damage. That was a great first hit, honestly. Yay! Let's see, is there anything else you would like to do with your turn? After my good hit, I'm gonna hang out. Okay, dope. Mm. So you get this nice stab into the wolf. It looks like you hit it kind of by where one of its shoulders connects, so you see it go limp on that side, and Mm. it is gonna probably keep it from moving around. It is now the two wolves' turns. Arendelle, the one you are fighting is going to try to hit you back. Does a 14 hit you? Which My armor is class a se- is 17. With 17, which means Damn. it does not hit you. And it's pretty easy to backhand it as it tries to, and it's weak on one side, so it crumples a little bit. You do not get hurt at all. Um, the one on the other side is going to also try to bite, but it is closest to Jed. So Jed is going to come up and try to bite you. Does a 10 hit you? No. No. <laughs> this wolf comes up and it's still kind of doing its crouchy, I'm about to pounce on you thing. And right as it jumps up, you see Bo out of the corner of your eye come over and just kicks it away from you with its hind legs. 
Aww. And the wolf kind of shakes itself off. It stands up again and is still focused on you, but you do not get hit. And Bo kind of gives a snort Aww. and shakes his head proudly. Uh, and that is going to do it for the wolves who did not have a great round. That's okay. Um, Amalthia, it is your turn. Did the one that just attacked Jed, is that the one on the left? Yes. Okay, I'm going to attack that one. Uh, I'm okay. going to go up and use my battle axe. Okay, dope. Uh, go ahead and roll me an attack. I got a 12. That just barely hits. So okay. go ahead and roll damage. Hell yeah. I got a 6 Beautiful. Altogether. See it attack Jed and I'm like, oh hell no. <laughs> <laughs> like, just slash it. <laughs> nice. All right. Just murder in my Easy eyes. Enough. You see this wolf get picked by Bo as it had very foolishly attempted to attack a man with a buffalo next to him. Just steer clear buffaloes. You come up with your battle axe as it's shaking itself off and recovering and getting back onto its feet and you just wham right into its side. You knock it back over, probably put your shoe on the wolf to pry it back out of it again. <laughs> um, all right, is that the end of your turn? I think I'm just going to stay where I am until something else happens. That's all I'm Okay, do. perfect. Jed, it is your turn. Wholesome boy. He's going to look at Amalthea and wink at her, and that's going to be a cast of Bardic Inspiration. <gasps> Ooh. Yay! I get party first Bardic Inspiration! Tell me how you're um, inspiring her, Jed. With the wink. <laughs> Oh, the wink itself <laughs> is that inspiring. I'll take oh, yeah. it, honestly. Got that, that smile in there, too, you know? <laughs> well, ain't that impressive. Oh, don't be silly. I haven't even started. I, like, thought my staff a little bit. With this blade drawn, he's going to approach the wolf and then take a swipe at it. All right, go ahead and roll me an attack. <gasps> <laughs> oh, dang, a nat 20. God damn it, Jed. You most certainly hit. Yes, he does uh, 12 damage. Beautiful. This wolf is down and out. How do you want to do this? Oh, shit. Woo! After Malthia was so cool with her battle axe, Jed's feeling like, oh, I got to impress the ladies. Uh, and he like <laughs> does a little spin, and he swipes it across the neck, and it just falls on the ground with blood all over the place. Yeah, you see this pool of red start to slowly seep out as it lays down, and it is out. You guys have finished off one of the wolves good job is that the end of your turn yes all right next it is going to be saren's turn Yay! um saren is still laying on the ground so she's going to use yeah. half of her movement to be not on the ground anymore she is going to use her emboldening bond she's going to look at cadrill and herself when we are within 30 feet of each other for 10 minutes we can roll a d4 and add it to an attack roll, an ability check, or a saving throw. Because we're best friends, Kendra. <laughs> and that is going to be her turn. Kendra, it's your turn next. We are such good friends, Kendra. <laughs> <laughs> I like that everyone else is gone. Now Kendra's going to, you know, get up off the ground. And there's this big wolf here. And I'm going to say, fuck it, let's do some necromancy. Oh. Yes! Kajal's gonna like jump forward at him, grab into like the scruff of the fur, and I'm gonna use Inflict Wounds. Let's see. Oh, yeah, give me a roll to hit. No. Oh, no. Oh, wait, can, I, can I add the d4? Or will that oh, yeah, a add the d4. <laughs> Two? A 12? Uh -huh. just 12 it just barely misses. No! Uh -huh. You kind of reach out to where you last saw where this wolf was because you scrambled back and lost sight of it for a second. And it moves pretty easily out of the way from your touch where this necromantic dark energy is swirling around your hand and you do not make contact. No. Again, just go, fuck! And that's his turn because I don't got any relevant bonus actions. No. All right, next it is Bo's turn. Bo is going to make his way over to this one on the right that Arendil just stabbed. Oh, you should have had him help you with the dang log. Sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he was laying down. <laughs> just like, oh dang. He's going to try to just trample this wolf. He wants to go to sleep. He wants to get scritches. These wolves are messing up his fight. Dang, he was so close to critting. Got a 19 plus 3 to hit, which is 22 which definitely hits. Whoa. What a good boy. 
Dang. Bo gets that. How do you want to do this for this wolf? <laughs> Holy cow, Bo. So you, Arendelle, you just got done stabbing this wolf. You are still just on high alert. And from behind you, Bo just kind of tramples his way in and just tramples this poor wolf into the dirt. And it does not survive this Bo attack. Oh my god. <laughs> um, but that's going to be his turn, and he will use the rest of his movement to trot back over to where Jed is. Very proud of himself. Like, look, Dad, I helped. What a good boy, Bo. What a good boy. So good. All right, and it is the dire wolf's turn now. Oh, fuck. Who is not happy with whatever Cadrill just tried to do. Cadrill is going to try to take a bite attack on you. Does a dirty 20 oh. hit? Yes, of course it does. Yeah, no, I figured it Cadrill. Y'all are babies right now. Kadril, you are going to take 11 oh. points of piercing damage. I'm down. Oh my god, what? Yeah. <laughs> You're down? My max is 10. Well, there goes our great cleric. You hear Saren just like scream. <laughs> Arendelle, it is your turn now. Um, you have turned to kind of focus the dire wolf that's come in and you see Kadril just go down. He takes a big bite to like the shoulder. They are unconscious. So I'll walk over there. I would like to do my short sword. Roll me an attack. Get a 12. 12. 12 Ooh. does not hit this big Aww. boy. Oh, um, no. It still has its jaws clenched around Kadril, and it looks over at you as you come up and ready to swipe at it, and it moves to the side and drags Kadril's body along with him. Oh, <laughs> um, oh wait. We didn't do zero. Well, technically, zero was before me. If we oh, skip Zuri's turn. Oh, heck. I feel like I have a memory of Zuri going. I'm losing my dang mind right now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. All right. It's Got session me. zero, baby. <laughs> it is. Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry about it. All right, Zuri, go ahead and take your turn. Okay. Well, I love you. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I'm going to hit it again with advantage yeah. because I have pack tactics. You do have pack tactics. 15. 15 just hits. Whew, okay. So go ahead. Nice. Go ahead and roll some damage. Whew, okay. Um. Okay, I got five and a two. All right. I can do that math. Plus seven. A three. Plus a three. ten. Yeah. <laughs> do you go for another attack at its face because you don't want to risk accidentally hitting Cadrill? That would be yeah. very bad. Yeah. <laughs> um. You take another <sighs> slice just right across the snout and like eye area, and it is hurt enough that it does drop. Cadrill, who falls to the ground unconscious still. The wolf seems like it's having a tough time now opening its eyes. It looks like you have blinded it with that hit. Yay! During this whole time, as I'm slashing it, whatever, I'm just like, ah, 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 ah. Yeah, <laughs> that is a mood. So, yeah. You're doing great, Zuri. All right, so now we have Amalthea's turn. Yeah. Okay, we're back on track. I'm going to see Cadrill go down, and I am going to frantically run over and kneel down and very quickly mutter come on now you're not done yet get up dear and i'm going to cast cure wounds beautiful go ahead and roll me the healing for that that is a 10. Nice. beautiful Sweet. Good you job. get 10 hit points yes. back full hp oh. yeah oh, yay wow level one is wild yeah i know <laughs> level one a is day. a journey all righty casual you do the, uh, the gasp back to consciousness. You can see Amalthea kneeling over you. You can also probably see the dire wolf who is now trying to use the rest of his senses to figure out where people are. But you are you are back. You did it. And by you did it, I mean Amalthea did it. <laughs> oh, you were there too. <laughs> hold your applause, hold your applause. Uh, is that your turn, Amalthea? Uh, it's blinded. Uh, I don't want to move away from it because I would like to attack it next turn. So I'm just going to stay where I am. That ends my turn. Okay. Jed, it is your turn. All right. So I see that uh, both the things are kind of on the ground. Caldrill is recovering, but he's still on the ground. I'm going to hop on the back of Bo, which takes Woo! 15 feet of movement. Rocking uh -huh. cowboy. Which, by the way, mounting Bo moves his initiative turn to my turn. Good to know. So I'm going to mount Bo and ride him over to the dire wolf. Okay. All right, Bo, let's ride. Oh. Lead him forward. While I'm there, uh, I'm going to have him do his running strike. 
All right, attacks with horns. So he is going to take his hit. Oh, that is a 10. It does not hit. He comes running up, tries to just swing wildly. And it does not manage to make purchase with the wolf this time. He hears the ground kind of rumbling as the pair of you run up. And it manages to take a couple of steps back and gets just out of that range. Okay, wow. so Bo's missed his attack, but I am still going to kind of swipe down as I'm running up with Bo to attack with my rapier. Perfect. Roll me an attack. I still think I hit. Oh, wait. Oh, I do hit. Yes. Oh! All right, go ahead and roll me damage. It keeps yeah. going to the edge and like faking that it's going to be a lower number. <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, it's 11 damage. Dang, Jed, how do you want to do this? Yes! yes! Jed's taking out everybody. No, he's like, these are my new friends. Good old Jed. Good old Jed. Good old Jed. So, of course, Bo swings and misses, and the dire wolf spins around to respond to it. And as he does, Jed's going to reach down with his sword, and instead of the front of the neck, it's going to slice through the back of the neck. Yeah, um, you bring your rapier up. You slash down after seeing Bo's attack miss. These seem like real nice people that you are traveling with. You'd hate to see anything bad happen to them. Um, you see this dire wolf just crumple and that same pool of red starts spreading out as it limply just kind of lays there and you guys made it through your first encounter with danger yeah. and combat. Woo-hoo! Good job! You guys are all gonna level up! Level two! Yay! Yes! Oh. <laughs> Which we are going to help Zach with. Yes! Yes, okay. yes. Because Patrick threw a single point of damage and almost died. It's like, you're level two, buddy! And he's like, ah. Saren just giving him a gentle, like, shoulder punch. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, what? <laughs> yeah, he's like, collapsed on the ground, like, ragdoll. <laughs> from where the, the wolf dropped him. Um, I, I kind of, like, look at him. I'm really concerned. I'm like, oh, are you alright, dear? That was a nasty bite. Yeah. Um, oh. Fuck. All right. Ah. I, I like smile at him and stand up and kind of offer him a hand to help him up. He'll, he'll actually take it and like pull himself up. All the injuries healed from the magic, but like still covered in blood. And just like look at it go, oh, did we pass like a pond or a lake or something? I'm sure we can get that stain out. Don't worry, dear. <laughs> and I kind of like brush off his shoulder a little bit to get the dirt off of him. Ugh. I just want to go to bed. I hate it here. I like chuckle a little and then I nod. Yes, we probably should rest in a few minutes to after we make sure everything is safe. Hopefully they don't have any more in their pack. Uh, thanks, I, I guess, for uh, healing me. Ugh. <laughs> I like nod to him and put both hands on my staff and I'm like, of course, no thanks is needed. He looks like embarrassed to even say thank you to somebody. <laughs> Saren gives him a thumbs up. <laughs> oh, I like turn to Saren. I'm all like, are you okay, dear? I'm okay. Thank I you. Give, uh, of course. And then I hold my hand up for another high five. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she gives you one. Anyone else would like to role play? <laughs> like the role play juice? <laughs> uh, the best kind. So Jed's still on Bo at this point. He's kind of looking at the situation around him. And then he uh, hops off Bo and goes to inspect the dire wolf. Just to, I guess, roll a nature check or something on it. Yeah, go for anything. it. Roll me a nature check. No, he doesn't. I think Suri would probably look into it because maybe. Yeah. I feel like she might have. You're a little more familiar with like monsters and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Go on, Zuri. But she got a six. <laughs> <laughs> you come up scratching your head and yeah, this this is just a big heckin' wolf man. Maybe it like ate something weird. Can I use my bardic inspiration to roll better? You can't. Okay, alright, cool. I think Malfia would want to look at it anyway, since like that's kinda why she's here. Um, so after I made sure Codrol and Saren are okay, I'm gonna notice that they're looking at the wolf, and I'm gonna go over there and take a look at it too. Nat 20! Oh my god! Oh my god. There you go! Dude, the, this roll on B- D&D Beyond loves me. I'm used to not getting good rolls. Oh, Alright, I will great. not use my bardic inspiration then. Good, good call. I, I like that roll. 
Yeah, with a nat 20, you know that this is a dire wolf. They are a lot sturdier and more dangerous than normal wolves. They are often found leading smaller packs of wolves, which it looks like this was. It seems like a pretty small pack, but with a nat 20, I'll say that you do know that this is a younger dire wolf, so it was probably just starting out on its little pack. So it's not so much that, oh, there's others we have to be careful of. It's just, oh no, this is all they had right now. All right. So that being said, Jed's going to look at uh, Amalthea because he's at a loss here. He goes, you don't think this is a werewolf, do you? I'm like scratching my chin a little bit, kind of leaning on my staff. And then I slowly shake my head after I look at it. No, this is not a werewolf. I am afraid I was mistaken. And then I stand up and then I tell him, it's a dire wolf, a very young one at that. So I think we are safe for this pack was very small. Uh, oh, all right. Thank you. I like smile at him and I'm like, do you want to see a werewolf perhaps? Well, I, I hope to. You've never seen one up close? No, I, I haven't, but it's, it's the whole reason why I'm here in this woods is to find him. Why, if I may ask? Kind of scratches the back of his head. I'm looking for one of them, potentially. A friend or a foe? Um, well, hopefully it's a friend, and maybe you've heard of his name before. Uh, his name is Grant. Grant Finch. I'm sorry, I do not recognize that name, but I pat his shoulder. I'll do everything in my power to help you find him, for I'm too looking for werewolves. Alright, thank you. I appreciate it. I nod, and I look to Zuri, and I'm all like, by the way, that was very cool. <laughs> and I hold up for another <laughs> high five. <laughs> very cool as she's screaming and, like, flailing the sword around. Yeah. <laughs> Melody is so proud. <laughs> she's like, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Instead of, like, high-fiving her with just one hand, Zuri takes both of her hands and starts slapping the one hand, like, hand-boning it, like, Yeah. <laughs> I laugh. I think it's so cute. And I, I'd be doing it too, but I'm holding my staff. <laughs> I'm slapping back. And I'm like, I like this new handshake. <laughs> Friendship handshake. So Arendelle walks up to uh, Jed and Amalthea and Zuri. He's just astonished that people are able to warn and go to bed right after having a, a duel because his adrenaline is just through the roof. Fair. Yeah. Um, so yeah. But uh, like, what do you mean go to bed? <laughs> <laughs> I'm on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go beat some other people up. <laughs> You're cut to trees. Yes. <laughs> Jed, 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 Jed. Um, I hear you're talking about Grant Finch. Um, you say he's a werewolf? Well, he might be. I'm not sure exactly. It's the only lead I got. Oh, I see, I see. Because uh, the reason why I'm on this road, I've been hearing reports of werewolves, and I was just trying to further investigate, see if you uh, had any information on a potential werewolf. Well, that, that's going to be it. I heard the same rumor, and I'm hoping that he'd be with them. But we, uh, we'll see. He might not be. Well, I'll help you. Oh, thanks. Oh. That's my kind Saren, Saren from somewhere, like... <gasps> friends <laughs> friendship a contra, friendship. Did you hear that we're they're friends with us look, look watch this is how friends behave <laughs> look they're shaking hands observe that could be us but you're playing codril's just like moving his bedroll back over to the fire uh, because he just got fucking attacked he's not gonna say anything not gonna be like oh i'm gonna feel more safe over here but he's just gonna hope no one notices as he scoots it over like 10 feet we pretend we do not see it. <laughs> Aaron will probably brush off the leaves and things that made their way onto her bedroll as the fighting was taking place, basically right over where their beds were. Aww. Just like sweeping things off and leaning things and like, she kind of sits crisscross applesauce on her bedroll and goes, should we like take turns keeping watch while we sleep or should we all just go to sleep? Because then I guess if something attacks us, we can die all together, and that's not so bad. Here, here before I do that, let me get Bo here to move these wolves away from us so we don't attract any <gasps> other ones. Wonderful. Money Thank you, Bo. Yeah. It is not a problem at all for Bo. He lowers his head, kind of hooks his horns over them as he moves them, and you help him find a spot and kind of dumps them into a pile where you can pick how far. I'll go like 100 feet. Okay, good call. <laughs> Yeah, you make it that 100 feet, you drop them in a pile, they're kind of gushy, 
and you <laughs> make your way back, maybe cleaning some of the blood off of Bo's horns. Oh yeah, giving him words of praise. Oh, I'm such a good boy. Oh, look at those wolves you killed. As uh, everyone starts to settle down, I do have a, uh, a herbalism kit in my toolbox. Would anybody like some uh, tea? Slow things down for the night. Saren raises a hand really fast. <laughs> tea would be lovely. What's tea? Sorry. <laughs> tea is when you put Wait. leaves in hot water and then you drink it. Or it's rumors and gossip. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, okay, I'll try some. <laughs> do, do I need to roll anything? Nah, I won't make Sweet. you roll anything to make tea. <laughs> I'll make some sleepy time tea. Yes! Um, Jet's coming back with Bo and he's like, Oh, y'all are making tea? Of course, I have enough for everyone. Uh, let me get started on that. Oh, Adriel, do you want he, any tea? He, he does that. Or do you want some quiet time? Or both? He's just like in his little bedroll and he looks up. He's just so angry. Like <laughs> cat that just got a bath angry. I'll take some tea. Arendelle pours the first one, <laughs> hands it to him. He takes it, but he doesn't say thank you. <laughs> it's all right if you need to go to bed early as well, Codrill. Don't worry. I don't need to do anything. Like, Me. trying to drink it while not getting up is very difficult. <laughs> Saren will thank you twice. Once for herself and once for Cadrill. <laughs> Arendelle chuckles to himself. Of course, of course. <laughs> You guys get your nice little warm cups of tea. Your fire is still going, which is very nice. And whoever would like to settle down for the night, you can. If you'd like to take turns for keeping watch, you can do that. But you can also just take and go to sleep. There's lots of choices. Jed will take first watch, but oh. when he's done with his watch, he's going to curl up next to Bo and sleep next to him. Oh, <laughs> like, like right, a big go ahead. pillow. <laughs> go ahead and roll me a perception check. And with Jack of All Trades, I actually have a plus one to perception. You now. do. Yeah. That's a great thing. It, it might help me a little bit here. <laughs> Eleven. Great. Does anyone want to do anything before going to sleep? All you right. Got the so sleepy you... time tea. We're all fucking exhausted. Oh, now. I know. <laughs> Pulled out the big guns. You guys get into your bed rolls around the fire. You're nice and cozy. Jed, you've got first watch. Nothing out of the ordinary happens. You don't have any problems with little animals or anything coming and sniffing around to see what is going on. You're not sure if it's just because there's nothing around to take interest or because you have a giant animal that you are leaning against as you take watch. Your shift passes, no disturbances of any kind. You want to wake up whoever's going next. If you want to do the full night, it'll be two of you. Uh, I'll ask Arendelle to replace. Arendelle, you go ahead and roll me a perception check. A nine. A nine. All right. Um, you take your watch, and I believe because you are an elf, you don't have to sleep, right? You just do your meditation thing. I uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds yeah, like yeah. Arendelle. You wake up as Jed kind of puts a hand on your shoulder and thumbs over to the tree that has a good view of everyone and yeah. you can lean against if you want to. And as your shift of the watch starts, the woods are quiet. There are no birds that you can hear anymore because it is nighttime. They are asleep. And as you start to watch, you feel the air get chillier than it probably should be, especially with the fire going. And you make that note in your head and you look over and the fire is starting to sputter and go out as this low mist starts to gather around the edge of the camp. And as time passes, it gets closer and closer. And for the first time in a long time, you find yourself falling asleep and you don't remember anything else. By morning, the fog hangs thick in the air over all of you, turning the trees around you into gray ghosts. And you notice that these aren't the same trees that surrounded you the night before. Next time on Terror Time. I'm getting scared. I kind of vibe with it. Like, I don't want to die, but it's kind of cool. Halt! Stay through the business in Barovia. Barovia, is it? That's where this place is? Hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> we were just here looking for werewolves. There's a vampire in that castle? 
We have been trapped here for over 300 years. So, we're just stuck here then. Yeah, turn around right here now. Try to walk back the way we came. I want to run away from a fight. Or live in fear. Well, that is for the best because he'd probably find you. Perhaps we can help you and then in turn you'll help us. You hear a soft whimpering that draws your eyes towards a pair of children standing in the middle of the otherwise lifeless street. There's a monster in our house. Kajal's just gonna sidle up and go, well, treasure? Hey Checkmates! If you enjoyed that episode, please like and subscribe and leave a comment letting us know what y'all think of our project so far. We want to take a moment to thank each and every one of you for the crazy amount of support we've gotten on our videos and over on Patreon. Patrons get rewards like early access to videos, sneak peeks at future episodes, bonus content outside of sessions, with lots more exclusive goodies planned for the future. While you wait for the next episode, come join our Discord community for announcements and updates. Until next time!